Hello! If you are new to my channel, I'm Colleen Chi Lee. I'm here to inspire, motivate and share ideas to refashion clothing. So let's get started. Here is a dress that I'm going to be refashioning, turned into a high-waisted contemporary skirt. So the first thing I need to do is to try it on so that I can find where I'm going to be cutting it. I want it to be quite high and what usually happens in my refashioning is I don't really have any idea of where this is going or whether or not I'm going to be liking the idea. So there will be a couple of different options that I may go for, may not go for. So keep watching until the end of the video. So I've placed a pin. I need to make sure the same is happening on the other side, measurement wise. And I place a straight pin. And I'm going to get roughly the centre. It's about there. This dress is lined, so I'm making sure the pin goes through the lining. And then it's the side seams. The next step is to pull the zip down to about there and I am going to base stitch all this all the way around. The next thing is to Cut. So we're going to separate the bodice from the skirt section and just go a few millimetres above your basting stitch and cut all the way around. It has now been separated, put that to one side, turn the skirt to the back, we're going to focus on the zip, we don't want to lose this zip here so I'm going to just reinforce, put some stoppers here and here. I do have a video tutorial on how to do that and I'll link that in the description below. The stoppers are now sewn, so I won't lose the zip head here. The next step is to think about whether or not I'm going to sew the new high waist waistband first before applying the, the top section, the bodice. But the best thing to do is to try it on and then experiment. I have two options where I'm going to be placing this bodice. Oh, that's nice. I like that. So it'll be going into the raw edge at the top of the skirt. We've got illusions of pockets. That's nice. I like that. And the second one, try and keep this project as easy as possible. Ooh, that's cute. But that's going to take a lot of work to keep these up. So when I put my hands in, I've got pockets here. Maybe if I just pull it like that, the other one down. 
and I'm not liking it as much. Yeah, it's going to be bony, a lot of structure that's going to be required to keep to give this shape. But I'll definitely do that in another project. I do like this way. This way is nice. Yeah, that's cute. Simple and easy, quick and easy and cute. Yeah, that's cute. Excuse me while I just look in the mirror. Yeah, I like what's happening here as well with the polka dots. I'll have it so, I'll make it drop a little bit more I think though. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, that's nice. So let's go, let's get this sewn. Put the skirt to one side. I'm going to focus on the bodice. I'm going to be turning, I'm going to be sewing down the back edge here from side seam to the zip tape. We want it to be all nice and neat, so we need to put it inside out. Get some pins and pin that into position. Just at the side seams, that's all we're sewing to. So we'll sew from there to that edge and the same on the other side. back section is now sewn. So just pull those to the right side and I'm backing out. Terminology used in the industry. As you can see I've kept the zip. There's no harm in keeping the zip. You can replace you can you can take it out if you wish it's your choice. And then do the same on the other side. So you've got neatened edge at the back that's just going to drop down at the sides and then this section here is going to be sewn into the front of the high waistband. So I'm going to snip into the corners here because it's a uh, So that'll enable me to place this into the seam on the front of the skirt. The seam to the other side. Excellent. Brilliant. So I'm going to align the lining. So that'll be the centre front. And the line is bigger than the actual dress itself. 
position the mirrors into the bust area kind of in its original place same with that one there's quite a lot of lining in here okay Okay, right, get the skirt. So we're working on the front of the skirt, aren't we? So let's line that up. Just give it a little notch for the centre front. Make sure that pins is in the centre. Okay. So I'm getting the front and the front of the skirt so right side and right side together and pin the front to no it's going to be yeah the wrong side so the lining side to the right side of the skirt yeah that's right and we're just pinning just the skirt, not the lining, just the skirt. Pin that into place. But you've got both the lining and the body section together, but only pin into the skirt, not the lining. Okay, that's in position now. So I'm going to take that to the sewing machine in a moment. Just finish putting pins in this section. Okay, so I've pinned from one side seam all the way around to the other side seam because the back is now sewn and we've only sewn, we've only pinned it to the skirt fabric, not the lining. And we've made sure that the lining and the front fabric is also sewn together. So there's three layers there. So what we do then is turn it to the wrong side We're pushing it into itself and then that will allow me to let me, let me just there's some tags here to keep the lining in place let me just cut those no maybe not just keep that one I'll take away the basting stitch.
the top edge of the skirt is now sewn, the lining is sewn to the top of the skirt. So let's turn that to the wrong right side. The lining into the skirt. Give it a shake. And there we have it. So that's the back. And then the back of the bodice will be placed like this. They will be tapped into position, just need to try it on. Let's have a look at the front. The top edge just needs to be pressed and understitched, top stitched, head stitch. I'll leave links to those tutorials in the description. Well, let's try this on and let's see what it looks like and do the finishing touches and then it will be done. It's gorgeous, just look at the side. A three dimensional look about it that I love. Wow. I'm going to keep the ruler loop and also the button. Towards the back, I'm going to be tacking those in place. There to there. And I'm going to sew under this section, basically already, the sewing. And yeah, it's ready to be worn. A contemporary designer skirt. I could leave these just as, it's just, it's just gorgeous, isn't it? No, they'll, they'll flap about and I don't want that to be the case. So yeah, they will be tacked into position. And then it's ready to be styled and worn. So this is the result, it's now complete. I decided not to tap this into position. I just let that flap, but I have tapped it at the sides here. Each one of those. <laughs> I'm loving it. I am. Um, I can have a lot of fun with this because even these here are cute. So I can actually put these inside and give it a different look so they're not as much three dimensional. That's the first option. So can I be like that as well? That is just as gorgeous. And if I wanted to tap that down, I could do, but I just love the way it just sticks out like that. I think that, that is so cute. When I walk, it do its own thing. I do hope you enjoyed this video tutorial where I've changed a dress into a skirt. The top section was too fat, was too tight, therefore I decided to make it into a skirt and I am absolutely pleased with the results. I hope it inspires and motivates you to do something similar. I want you to bear one thing in mind though before I go is to think about garments of the future looking different from now. Because we're working with garments that have this perfection about them. There's a new perfection, there's a new aesthetic to garments if you're going to refashion it, especially if you're following my channel. This skirt I'll always wear. I know I will get strange looks, that is fine with me. It's something I've been used to most of my life when it comes to my fashion sense and I don't have a problem with that. But what I'm trying to say is that with my channel I'm trying to get people to think that whatever we are wearing we've made the effort to make sure the minimum amount of garments go into land waste and that we are finding ways to redesign, upcycle, refashion clothing that already exists. So if you enjoy that sort of thing, it definitely is worthwhile subscribing to my channel. Please do give this video a like if you've enjoyed it. Please do comment. Don't forget, don't forget to click the links in the description where I'll put um, descriptions of the techniques that I've used in the video. A few people have asked me to do the whole process of it's it's it'll take too long. It really will take too long, and I don't. Your time is valuable, 
and so is mine because I need to keep, be able to keep on doing these projects. So I want to make sure that um, you click on the links, that's what they're there for. It will take you straight to the tutorial that you need to follow in order to get more or less the same results that I have got with any of my projects. So please do remember to click the links in the description. And yeah, I'm sure there will come a time where I'll be able to do a video tutorial of refashioning beginning to end where I show you every technique. It will just take such a long time because my skill set is along the lines of couture so there's a lot of hand sewing and I know a lot of people do not like to hand sew yes I'm talking to you <laughs> so please do think about that anyway I've got to go so like I said if you enjoyed this video tutorial, then please do give it a thumbs up please do share it with your friends and your family and I will see you next time thank you for watching